Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Tammy Tackles Everything. It's my 23 week bump date and I'm so excited to tell you all about what's happening with me and with the baby this week. So can you believe it? We only have about 17 weeks to go. Now I've told you guys already that. I don't typically make it all the way to 40 weeks um, and depending on this pregnancy and how we progress, we will more than likely, because I have to have a cesarean section, um, go a little earlier than 17 weeks. So before I go into like bump dates, some things that you should know that's happening for me personally this week. Well, we are about to start renovations on our kitchen and not just our kitchen. I keep saying our kitchen, but it's really like not the kitchen, the dining room, and the whole ground floor of our house. And it is a very big undertaking. I mean, oh, there is gonna be a tile that we're taking up all the flooring, redoing the flooring, redoing the kitchen. It's a whole lot. So this week I have been very anxious. I cry at a whim, and then I put on my big girl panties and I'm ready to face the world. <laughs> but I am definitely feeling the anxiety. Some of you might be wondering, why do this now, Tammy? Why do this now? You know, you only have a few more weeks. Why are you putting this on your head and distress? Well, if you watch our family vlog, which I hope you do, uh, you will know that this has been in the making for about 10 years. We have wanted to do our kitchen for a long time, but it has just not been the main priority, especially because, you know, We've had, you know, so many kids, <laughs> which means that our priority has really been uh, towards, you know, making sure that they are clothed, fed, educated, <laughs> you know how it is. And redoing a kitchen is really a massive expense. And like I said, it's not just our kitchen. The plan really goes beyond our kitchen. So we have been trying to uh, make sure that we have everything in order to finally do it. And now is the time. The other thing is that once we do have the baby, it will probably be another two years before we can really uproot ourselves this way and actually focus on doing this project, by which time it might be double the cost. Because when we were supposed to do it about a year ago, it was half the cost of what it is now. So yeah, that's really my reasoning behind it. Um, it's, it's a weird thing. I want the next, you know, 10 weeks to fly by so that I can be done with this. But by the time I get back the house, it will be a few weeks before baby is here. So it's a little bittersweet. It's a little exciting. It's a little um, stressful. But you know what? It's all going to work out. I keep saying to myself, you keep thinking about the worst thing that could happen. And this could all work out wonderfully. And it will. And it may be pain free. And it may be a lot better than you expect. So that's what I'm hoping for. And that is what I'm praying the outcome will be. So let me just tell you some interesting things about what's happening with the baby. The baby is now the size of a grapefruit. If you see me glancing down, it's because my laptop is right here. Oh, do you like my pink nails by the way? That's another thing I want to get into, but I'll soon do that. The baby is the size of a grapefruit. May I wonder if I had a big grapefruit, Demia? I wonder if I had a grapefruit. No, I don't have any grapefruits. Which means that the baby is about 28 centimeters long and we're getting ready for a major growth spurt. So beginning this week, your baby will likely double in size over the next month or so. Double. That's crazy to me. It says that uh, with those pregnancy hormones on overdrive, you may start noticing that foggy, hazy feeling known as pregnancy brain. Um, yeah, I can barely finish a sentence without knowing what I was talking about or yeah. Hmm. So basically the baby is 11 inches long, just over a pound. Um, and this week marks the beginning of some serious weight gain. So far, I think I was telling you, I think I gained another pound since last week, which is pretty normal. And if I keep doing that, we should be right on track for me to be about just the same as when I was pregnant with Oz and Atlas. Uh, like I said, I'm 23 weeks pregnant, which means that I am just about six months pregnant, which is carbidi. I haven't really had any new symptoms except that sometimes in the afternoon, I start to feel what can only be described as away. 
You know when people just say, yo, you know some feel away? But that could mean, yo, you know some feel away? Or yo, you know some feel away? Well, I feel away. And I don't know how to describe it. It's not nausea, it's not gas, it's not back pain, it's just, it's not tired, it's just away. I just feel like away. And it happened to me again yesterday and the only thing you can do is just lie down, get up, sit down, eat something, drink something. You don't know what to do. I just felt a little discombobulated. That's what I'd say. Discombobulated. And you just kind of have to move through those moments. I haven't gotten like a linea negra yet, which is the line that sometimes comes um, from your your belly button all the way down to your pubic bone. And I definitely had that with the boys, but I haven't had that yet with this pregnancy. I can't remember when I had it with the boys, but I definitely know that that's something that I normally get. So maybe as the pregnancy uh, goes on, it will show up. So yeah, that's basically what's happening with the baby and happening with me. And I'll show you the bump right now. So a lot of maternity clothes will come with this rouging up the side that really helps to kind of you know, taper it in in the back, which I think is genius. All clothes should have this ruching if you ask me. But yeah, a lot of you also asked about the pants I was wearing, the jeans I was wearing, and why it has that fold up. Well, most maternity clothes have this elastic waist band that can accommodate the growing tummy. So um, some of them don't. Some, some maternity pants come with the elastic just on the side, um, but the ones I have pull all the way up over the belly, which can sometimes be hot, but I have the option to fold it down. But the belly is definitely growing and here we are. So that's the bump. Doesn't really seem that much bigger since last week, but maybe it is, I'm not really sure. But for me, it definitely feels like by the end of the day, the, the, the belly is pushing more forward. Definitely still having some backache, not as bad as last week. It will just come and go for a couple hours now and that's really it i said i wanted to talk about the pink nails and it's because a couple weeks ago in my vlog i had on a peach shirt and i kept saying it was peach and wayne kept saying it was pink and i was like it's peach he was like it's pink i was like it's peach he said it's pink i said it's peach somebody in the comments said tammy you're having major imposter syndrome about having a daughter I was like, am I? This might be true. So, you know, I take everything as like a self-reflection, especially if I feel like it resonates with me. No, you know, oftentimes people would say something and it's kind of like, you know, water off a duck's back. But in this situation, I felt like it actually was worth looking at. And I realized that it is kind of true. And I don't know that it's imposter syndrome as much as it's just... I can't believe I'm having a daughter. I think I, for so many years, put that thought out of my head that now that it's happening, it almost feels too good to be true sometimes. <laughs> and so it made me realize that there was a part of me that almost didn't even feel worthy to have a daughter. A part of me felt a little like I didn't deserve that. And it was really something that I had to look at and really kind of say, you know, boy, is this really something uh, to look at, something to deal with, something to kind of maybe journal through. Um, and I was really actually surprised when it came up that it felt like there might be some truth to that. And so big up to that person who said that because it really made me kind of consider certain things and then it made me say, you know what? This is a beautiful experience. Uh, I can enjoy it to the max. I don't have to almost feel like it's not true or that it's too good to be true or every time I go to the doctor I make sure that she's still a girl <laughs> I can just enjoy the experience enjoy the ride and be grateful that this is my story so big up to all of you guys who leave comments all the time whether over here or over on the MTM vlog uh, because it matters you know and it, it, it really gives us something to think about sometimes sometimes you know I'm in here belly laughing at things you've all said and it just makes my day. So thank you so much. We're not gonna talk about the people who leave mean comments though, okay? Cause we are just gonna block them. Anyway, let's keep it moving. I did a really fun thing a few weeks after I found out I was having a daughter and I made my first and probably only purchase of clothing for her. 
I found this really cute company online. This video is not sponsored or anything. I really did pay for all of these clothes. And it's a sweet little company called Kate Quinn. Let me see if I can get there. There. Kate Quinn. And I made the order and it takes two weeks before it even ships. So I get the feeling that they're just not like mass producing clothes. But it was a sweet little company I saw on Instagram and I followed them and I really like them. So that being said about the whole pink thing, which is why I have pink nails, by the way, I, I made myself get pink nails. I also don't love the idea of just buying pink for my daughter, okay? <laughs> Tessie's always cussing me about this. She's like, Jesus Christ, where's the pink clothes? And I'm like, Zaya, who is Tessie's daughter, has all the pink clothes and not pink. She doesn't just dress her daughter in pink. Let me be clear. Zaya is a very well-dressed little girl. And I have taken to just keep saying to Zaya every time I see her, please gently wear that because your cousin is going to need it. So uh, I have so much clothes to get from Tessie and even a couple of friends and my cousins. I mean, that I know I won't have to buy anything for this baby, but I did want to make a small purchase. And so I found this little company, like I was saying, because I love them. They were doing all kinds of like neutral tones which I really like. I like them for myself and I realize I really like them for a little girl too. So for example, <laughs> this is one of my favorites. I'll show you a few of them. How cute is that? Don't you just love this little print and the colors, aren't they beautiful? Ah, I love the print so much that I got a couple. Now I only bought newborn or zero to three months and three to six. I didn't buy anything else. Uh, because I know that between Tessie and everybody else, I'm going to have all of the other stuff. So I bought it in a couple different styles. This one has a little leg ruffle, which I just thought was adorable. And I did get some pink. You'd be so proud of me. I mean, hello. And this one has little bees. I don't know what that, that I think that's a queen bee on it. Adorable. And it's a kimono style, which I really like. This one, listen, she has brothers, okay? So we do have to pay some homage to the fact that she only has brothers. So yes, it might be pink, but this one, you're gonna love it, has planes on it. Oh, look at that, little aeroplanes. I thought it was so sweet. And why can't girls wear things with aeroplanes? Which brings me to my next topic. You ready for this one? dinosaurs <laughs> I love it. so this one has dinosaurs guys and I could resist I actually got a matching robe for this one because the boys always love whenever I have anything with like you know boy things on them so I got a little robe to match uh, because after you have the baby nothing sweeter than just to be like in a robe where you have access to everything like boobs are flying like I'm a mess y'all I'm a mess and so let me just show you the last couple pieces, okay? I hope you guys are liking this because this is like making my day. Look at this blue one. So it has that B print again, but it's in blue, which I think is really beautiful. And of course, I got some of these, you know, they use these a lot in the very beginning when they're just kind of, you know, little and still having a hard time regulating their own body temperature. Um, so I have a couple of those. And oh, I love this print, let me show you. If you know me, you know I am obsessed with elephants. Isn't that a lovely print? And so unusual, right? I also really like this one. Who doesn't love a good pineapple print? Again, the neutral tones are nice, right? And then, of course, I got, you know, a little pinky pinky. Cute. And then, hello, hello. Look at this color. Isn't that beautiful? With a little ruffled sleeve. Really cute. Couple more pieces in here. Um, but really just, you know, definitely a little different to the typical girl clothes that you see out there. And I'm really glad that, you know, this company in particular, and a lot of other companies do it too. I even see companies like Carter's doing it, where they offer more neutral tones um, for clothing and not just you know, pink bursts everywhere because, you know, my boys can wear pink shirts too and girls can wear blue. 
So I'm definitely gonna be balancing all the pinks and the neutrals for sure. And every now and again, I am going to have a little moment where dinosaurs have to come through, you know what I'm saying? I love it. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys because I know that all these little things just make us so excited. Another thing I want to share with you is that this week, this week, you won't have to wait a whole other, a whole nother week for the video. I'm going to be dropping the birth story of Jackson. He's almost nine guys. So I had to dig deep into this pregnancy brain to try and find all of the facts and the things that I remember. Luckily, I'd actually um, documented it somewhere when I'd had to do it before. And so I did have a little guidance and a little memory jog where that was concerned. So there is gonna be another video coming out this week. So you won't have to wait a whole nother week. And I'll be working on all the other birth story videos for you as well. So that's about it for this week, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed it as usual. Please share this video with someone who you think would benefit from it. Let me know if there's anything new happening for you in your pregnancy this week. So many of you here aren't pregnant, gone past pregnancy age, plan on never having children, but you're here anywhere, anyway, supporting and enjoying the content. And I'm so glad you're here. This is not just a channel about pregnancy and motherhood, even though at the moment it feels like that. We're hoping that as we go on, it will grow into all kinds of other things and become, like I keep saying, a, a channel or an umbrella that houses all kinds of conversations. Right now, this is what is taking up a grand portion of my life. And so, yeah, that's what's happening. I can't wait for a fake cooking show to come over here. What's gonna happen when we get a new kitchen, people? Hello? I'm gonna cook. I'm gonna cook. I can't wait to move these conversations out of this living room <laughs> and into the kitchen, you know? And maybe we can do um, bump dates, the last few bump dates while I'm making food. Who knows? It's exciting. So yes, thank you everybody for being here. Tell a friend to tell a friend. As Wayne would say, share it like food. And definitely let me know in the comments how you enjoyed this, what else you wanna see. So many of you give me great suggestions, which I'm taking note of. So thank you very, very much. As always, if this was not your cup of tea, feel free to keep it moving right along. Don't even worry about it. Thanks again for all the love and support, guys. And I will see you again soon. Bye. Mwah.